So I've got something new here. This is called Echoes of the Living. This is not an actual game. This is just a demo. Uh, the new, the actual game isn't released yet. It's supposed to release sometime in 2023. But as you can see, this is a um, game that has taken some inspiration from the classic survival horror games like Resident Evil. It seems very Resident Evil, in fact. Uh, let's see. We have many graphics options. We do! But they all defaulted to Ultra. I, uh, I've never played this before. This will be a new experience for me. Let's get going. All right, so we've got two characters, uh, Liam Oakwood and Laurel Reeves. Okay. I wonder if these stats mean anything. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to play this game twice. Let's uh, play once as each character. Assume, oh, I don't know how long this is going to be. If it's a longer demo, I won't play as the other character. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, well, no intro cinematic. Uh, so we've got tank controls. Resident Evil style tank controls. Get going, bro. This is very incomplete. <laughs> it does definitely need a little bit more work here. I see some graphical issues, like the environmental textures are loading in a little bit too late. Although I do... Uh, there's also no voice acting. There was no intro cinematic. There's no animation for him spinning. That's a little bit weird. Okay, okay there's the menu. Let's see what the map looks like. Ah, it looks like a drawing. So, yeah, I need some... Oh, shit, I better get moving. <laughs> this is really something that they... I mean, I guess... It's something that you'd have to consider was going to happen. That people would make this kind of game. But I, I love the fact that we have advanced so far in technology that we're now looking at a game that is modeled on the style of Resident Evil, but has completely removed the uh, static 2D backgrounds. So in the original Resident Evil and a number of the uh, sequels up through Resident Evil Zero or the Resident Evil remake for the GameCube, they relied on 3D characters on 2D backgrounds because the old hardware was just not powerful enough to render the 3D environments that they wanted. Blood on the floor. So they put all the 3D rendering capability they can into the character models. And, oh, oh, this looks like bad news. <laughs> All the 3D rendering capability of the PlayStation or the GameCube or whatever into the character models, and then they, uh... Didn't I pick this up? Huh. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. And then just used these sort of static 2D backgrounds in order to create the illusion of a highly detailed environment. And, you know, that was pretty cool. It looked awesome for its day. But, you know, as time advanced, you got like Code Veronica, which was a Dreamcast game. And they tried like, well, we got more power in the console, so let's create a 3D background. Well, the problem with that was it wasn't quite as detailed, though. It didn't quite look right. Okay, so uh, we have stairs and two other doors. 
And then when they went to the GameCube, um, the GameCube Resident Evil games, they sort of went back to the static 2D backgrounds, but they made them animated. And since the GameCube could... Oh, oh shit, look at that. <laughs> this is Resident Evil all the way through. <laughs> Since the GameCube had more processing power than the PlayStation 1 or the Dreamcast, that meant that their characters looked quite a bit better. And they had animated backgrounds in the sense that it was sort of like a video file that was playing. But here we are, they have a full 3D environment that looks honestly like, because it can scale with the resolution of the video, of the, the gameplay, because we're not looking at a... Um, it's rendered in 3D. It looks better than what we would have seen back then. Do we have limited inventory space? Yeah, you don't store trash. You just fail to throw it away. Okay, yeah, we do have limited inventory space. We have... I, I am not a fan of the way that this menu works. It's going to take some getting used to. Hopefully they'll change that around a little bit. You know, I wanted to... A few years back, there was... Uh, a friend of mine had... Wanted to develop an indie game and he wanted the, me to be involved in that but the problem was he knew nothing about game development in like any respect and we had talked one of the things we had talked about though was oh, oh shit what was the glass breaking from Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, time to start killing. At least we don't have a door opening animation. Weren't... Wasn't there a zombie in this room? Oh! There is. Oh shit, there's another one. Oh, we don't auto-aim. Wow. I'm gonna assume they're dead. <laughs> he ragdolled, so I'm gonna assume he's dead. Oh, shit. The bathroom. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got to reload. <laughs> the whole, uh... How do I reload? I don't know how to reload. In Resident Evil, you just can continue firing. Reload, damn it. There we go. Okay, I can't have the gun drawn to reload. Her neck has been ripped. But she's holding something. I don't give a shit about her neck. Ooh, pills. Yeah, it is pills. Analgesics. You got some fucking Tylenol. That'll help you if you get bit by a zombie. <laughs> you know, this is a nasty little bathroom. Psh. James was here. There's no... Oh, okay, there is a door on the toilet. Oh, oh the body disappeared. <laughs>
Alright, well that's not I'm not getting through that door apparently. The spent cartridges look like they stay on the floor. I mean, I can't get through this door. <laughs> what does the key do? It's not this one. This is a room with the garbage in it. Is there a door over here? No. No. More than a lot of other games, the survival horror game genre seems to have oh you know what it's got to be back through there because or i'll say the zombies wouldn't have um we wouldn't have had the zombies break through that door it's the front door so no wonder i can't go through there but i don't remember there being another uh wait no okay so do you see another door in here Hey, zombie. Come this way. Follow me. I said follow. What's wrong with you? There we go. Uh, let me go around and check again. I must have missed something. I got the manager key. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Manager key, there's no... That's the way I came. Can't go through the front door. Is there anything in here? Sorta, kinda. Oh, there's something on the ground here. I don't have a shotgun, but I'll take the shells. There's no special animation for going upstairs. Alright, let me check this room again. Is there a door I didn't see? Little things that they gotta tweak. Like, moving... The character moving... Uh, tends to adjust the reflection in that window. The problem is you wouldn't see a reflection in that window viewing it from this angle. <laughs> it just looks odd. In fact, it probably would have looked better if it didn't have any kind of reflection at all. More analgesics. How come that doesn't shine? You'd think that would shine. Okay, so what do I got? I got manager key. Can't combine those. That's all I got. I have the manager key, but I can't find the manager door. It's not it. It's... So strange looking break room. It seems more like a hallway. I guess it's a bar. It's built... Oh, fuck, what? I definitely tried this before. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Whoops. <laughs> Where are you at? Get up. Come on. Zombies don't seem like they ever get up. It's probably not a weapon that's probably for a puzzle. His blood disappeared. <laughs> Uh, 
Why are you shirtless? <laughs> Check out this room before I move on. Oh, there's nothing in here. With the uh, static camera angle, it can sometimes seem like the room continues more even when it doesn't. You know, there's pro Oh, I'm back in here. Did I pick up anything? Oh, the metal rod. Okay. Metal rod. That's got to help with something. Uh, oh, do I use the metal rod to dunk into the toilet? How's that sound? Is that nasty enough for you? Nope. <laughs> but maybe like you'd stick the metal rod into there, and then you would it would be like a uh, you fish something out with it. This is kind of ridiculous shit that you'd see in a survival horror game. Oh, oh, there's a thing on the floor. Like a... Okay, there we go. Okay, you need to work on that animation a bit. <laughs> Just store your bottles of booze on the floor. It's fine. <laughs> oh, locker key. There was a locker up here that was locked. I wonder if the entire game is going to be like this. I mean, we're in a relatively small space. <sighs> Fucker. Fresh zombies. It's locked, but <laughs> I have a locker key. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Sarah. You got bit by a zombie. Alright, so, maybe the locker is not what I thought it was. Maybe it's further down. How am I looking on ammo? Mm, a decent amount there. Fuck! So I did have it right. I, something up there I gotta get. You gonna carry a freaking keg up a ladder? Are you fucking crazy? All right, I'll take a look around, see if there's anything here I missed. Is she ever going to get up? Lazy zombies, I tell you. Jeez, when you don't know your way around these survival horror games, they tend to be uh, quite a bit more of a slog to... Uh, Spent a lot of time roaming back and forth trying to figure out where everything you're um, supposed to, everything you're supposed to do, where to find it, and all that shit. You're not a locker, you're a corpse. Hmm. Oh, here's a shotgun. Now it's a replica. <laughs> Thanks. If this were Resident Evil, I'd have to pick it up anyway and stick it in a hole in a wall or some shit. I did pick up a locker key, right? So this is like the kind of issue that I had with a lot of the old survival horror games. And Silent Hill 2 was a specific thing that I took issue with. Oh, shit! Pfft. That looks kind of goofy. <laughs> Might as well take you out. Th 
they had these kind of ridiculous puzzle designs where you would let, let's oh fuck it opened this time what the fuck <laughs> and another key we're on a freaking key hunt that's what we're doing maintenance key so that's probably gonna open up how's my health That's probably going to open up that thing in the basement. We're on a key hunt. We just find item, get to this area, just to open up another thing. Something Resident Evil had a tendency to do was have you do similar kinds of things, but you'd find more than one item. Which gave a slightly wider feeling of non-linearity. It was, it was more of an illusion. Like in Resident Evil 1, when you had to find... Oh, okay. When you had to find the four crests to open up the door that led to the dormitory. There were four of them located through the mansion. And you, you eventually did have to find all four of them. But you could pretty much collect them in whichever order. Like you would have the the key hunt progression going through the mansion. But you didn't necessarily like the armor key. You didn't necessarily have to pick up the armor or not the armor key, the, the sun crest or the moon crest or whatever. This doesn't quite have that same feeling because you are... Um, that was a very, very linear experience here. This looks bad. Spider zombies. Hmm. It's worked in Resident Evil. Wow, this animation is terrible. Look at this. Don't hold a knife like that. You like completely remove your range of motion and you can't it's harder to attack going in certain directions and it actually shortens your reach. Ew. Once they fall, they are gone. Okay, there we go. See, this is definitely a low-budget game. So I wonder how many of the kinds of things that I'm pointing out here will be fixed by the final release. Definitely don't want to judge a pre-release game, an early access game, as though it were a... As though it were a full release. And you don't want to judge an indie game like it's a AAA game from a major studio. Oh, all right. To the fog. It's spread by fog? Okay. Boost antibiotic effect. Garnet samplings. Oh, shit. It's the same fucking thing that... Resident Evil did, like, the herbs. Warehouse key. Alright. Am I on the street? No, I'm not. There's a pizza! Smells acid, huh? What year is this? Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, Iron Apex and Co. Hmm. I'm out of inventory space.
Wonder if they have the magic item boxes in this game. It's got to be in the 80s or early 90s. Saving on a floppy disk. <laughs> All right. Up, we have ammo crafting in this game. That's uh, something. Oh, shotgun shells and handgun bullets. All right, I got to find something to... Something that I can do with... It's like Resident Evil 3. The ammo crafting systems. Resident Evil 3-like. Uh, so I got to find some way of disposing of some of these items. Now, if I had that... I have that key, which might open this door. That didn't do it. But then again, I have run into doors that I had to try more than once. Okay, what's the description on that key? Warehouse key. I also have the key card. Oh, this door over here. Locked with a simple lock. Then simply kick it down. I have two keys and I don't know what to do with them. There are, oh, there's more than one thing of gunpowder in here. All right, let's take another trip around. I guess maybe I should backtrack a little ways. Unless there's some way I can get up to this platform over their head. Like there's a... Those are just shipping containers. Alright, let me backtrack. Ah, fuck. I think that's probably what will be a pretty good sign that you are heading in the right direction is if enemies respawn or new enemies uh, appear. Because uh, then you're in... Hmm. Although not in this case. <laughs> Shit, come on.
And I already tried this, but I have had to try things more than once. <laughs> you could almost squeeze through those bars there. No other doors. No other doors. Alright, I'm about to... Uh, perhaps see if anybody else has a video of this and find out what's supposed to be going on here. Because this is a little frustrating. All right, so I looked it up, and yeah, I'm a little bit irritated on what the res the a uh, little bit irritated over what the correct thing to do was. So this is the warehouse, and you got to use the key. The problem is all of the other keys. All that stuff that I un had to unlock didn't require me to jump into the menu to use the key manually. This one did for some reason. <laughs> ah, okay. Pfft. Fucking zombies. <laughs> They're just gonna follow me now. Hey, it's Heather Mason. I like how I can reload while walking. Lock pick. Oh, damn it. We got to do lock picking in this game too. Ah, you fuckers! Do I have to? Uh, I'll just take the hit. Get out of the way, fuckers! What do you want to bet that zombie comes to life? Ah, yep. You know, there is some kind of an auto-aim in this. It's not that good, though. It doesn't seem to function all the time. Oh, oh shit. We got this Skyrim garbage going on. That is the dumbest lock-picking mechanic I've ever seen. Alright, I have some space in my inventory. So I'm going to go and pick up that gunpowder. Because I am running low on ammo. The music needs to be a little bit louder. I just want to fully explore this room before I move on to another area. Oh, okay, I'm back where I was. <laughs> Went the wrong way. Oh, okay. There wasn't much else to see. Really anything else to see. Hold on. This girl up here. Is that supposed to be Jill?
started the reloading animation over. <laughs> Okay. Uh, of course. Why are you wearing a lab coat? Yeah, there is some auto-aim here. Just doesn't always seem to work. Used up most of the ammo that I just gained. It's a strange way for an ambulance to pull into a spot. Alright, I'm not gonna... It's too many digits. I'm not gonna brute force that. Door doesn't look right. course. Something's going to attack me when I go down here. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? What am I hung up on? Die, damn it. Ah, shit. Alright, I'm um, out of ammo. And I don't have any analgesics. This is Resident Evil E music. <laughs> Alright, I need that for the puzzle outside. Jeez, that's the worst case of diarrhea I've seen in a long time. There's a lot of blood out of one body. Oh, no, no, uh, space. Hmm. All right, I'm going to have to remember serum. That's got to be important. So remember to come back. I'm going to expect you to remind me. Just want to check these doors. Ah, uh, okay. I, I get what we're doing here. Ah, uh, shit. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to get to. Is that it? Did I do it? No, I didn't. You know, I would have thought I just had to get the electricity from here to here. Uh, do I have to just connect all of them up?
That's stupid. Okay, so... See, I don't quite get how I'm supposed to connect this one to this one, though. Because it doesn't seem like they have, like, compatible things. See, there's a weird progress bar up at the top. Which I don't understand. Is that a time limit? Hmm. Well, let's just wait for it to end and see what happens. Yep, it's a time limit. Oh, I was just being an idiot. <laughs> the puzzle's solvable. I'm just a fucking moron. Storage room key. Heavy gunpowder. I don't have any... Storage room key. So there were... I have a couple of keys. I have to remember that heavy gunpowder there is there. And I'll have to remember to... That's locked from the other side. Alright. Nothing opened this. It's all old TVs and stuff, so there's got to be some time in the past. Look at this uh, old circuit board. Alright, I gotta make the roundabout to try to find um, which what is opened by these keys. I've already up. I was already up here, wasn't I? Uh, this feels like this is the way I came from, though, doesn't it? I know I'm being an idiot. I really should have done a dry run through of this game prior to uh, starting it here. How long is this video? Forty-five minutes. Oh my god! All right, so this is gonna get this video is getting too long. I'll have to um, end it, and I'll make another one where I play as the the girl, and perhaps. Ah, oh, there we go. Storage room key. Since I know what to do. 
Yeah, I'll take the wires. Since I since I know what to do, I will be in a better position to just get through it quicker. So I'm going to give that a